My name is Ann Yenny, and I have used Schoology um, at Trailblazer Elementary this past school year. Um, one of the courses that I have built out with um, with using the Schoology learning management system is the math, um, and I flip math instruction, meaning I make a um, I make a video of the content of the lesson in Math Expressions. And I post a link to that video online, and then that is the student's homework. Um, you can see that I have, um, for every unit, I've got a folder. Um, and so let's just open one of these up here. Here's unit four. Um, the standards are on the outside of the folder. In each um, unit folder, there is a chapter guide. And so they can um, open that up and keep track of where they are. So. Um, here are standards again. Here are learning targets, and those learning targets are also posted on each lesson, which I'll show you in just a minute. But here are learning targets. These are the, the pre-test questions, so when they take that end of unit test before the unit, um, these are the questions that address this learning target. Um, these are the lessons, the activity book, and homework and remembering pages. Here's if they have shown me by passing all of these questions that they are um, proficient, then I want them to do a written response. And so this is their, um, their writing response. And then they also are to tell me a mastery level. So um, when I hand back the pages that they've turned in, um, they look at them and say, oh, you know what, I've nailed that. I'm, my mastery level is a five, or I could use some support. I'm probably at about a two or a three. Um, so they are pacing themselves through this with my guidance. Um, for each um, lesson in the unit, there's an activity book page for them to take notes on. In class, the homework remembering page the next, um, the next class day, and then their learning target is also posted right there. When they click on that assignment, um, they get a link to a video, and I'm not gonna show you the whole video, but I'll show you that it pops up in EduCreations. Um, there it is right there, and so there is their lesson for homework. Um, they can access this. There is never a reason for them to get behind because they've been absent. They can access this anywhere they have an internet connection. Also in the folder, I will put some Khan Academy videos. If I find some other links to some practice games that address that skill, I will post them in the course. Um, I had students who were not able to finish fifth grade math and they asked that I would leave the course open and so I have some kids who are working through these lessons through the summer. Um, there are some other math resources that I put in here um, as I come across the Prodigy game. They love to do that. They can do extra math. Here's just a link to a multiplication table for my kids who struggled with fact fluency and so they can just click on that and have that open in another tab um, as they work. The flexibility of this um, as I would come across um, as I would come across different activities I can post them I can post them from home um, I can post them if I have a sub for the day and I'm at a workshop I can post things I can watch what the kids are doing um, I, previous to working at Trailblazer, I used Edmodo. Um, Edmodo is a, <clears throat> excuse me, is a free program, but I could not build and save content in Edmodo the way that I can in Schoology. Um, this is an invaluable tool to me, and knowing that it it is the paid subscription, so that I have all of the all of the capabilities. Um, of saving these resources and I'll update the videos but I don't need to redo all of this work that I've done this year um, in order to make my math as robust as it is.